As consumers, when we get to the store, we tend to be focused on products and their price. Rarely do consumers think about where the item came from. And even if they do, they tend to think simply about the point of origin and the final destination. Perhaps a more perceptive person might even think about the primary mode of transport used to deliver the product. Even that level of thought is very limited though. It would be like saying a person from New York got to Tempe, Arizona by airplane. Technically, the airplane was the primary mode of transportation, but did that person walk out their front door and jump into an airplane that then arrived outside this building? Many of you who have traveled by airplane know that the process is much more complicated. Think about everything required for you to travel by airplane. You'll buy a ticket, pack your bags, get a ride to the airport, check your bags, get through airport security, board the plane using that particular airline's boarding process, and finally, you're ready to fly. But if you're scheduled for a layover, you'll have to sit in people warehousing. Then you'll be ready to board another airplane, which will hopefully get you to your final destination. And even then, you'll need to shuffle off the airplane, get your luggage, and find a ride to get you to your absolute final destination. And that's only what you experienced. Think of all the work done by airport and airline staff at every level. This allows us to understand why this militaristic term logistics is about so much more than transportation. Moving yourself from one city to another is difficult enough, but at least you're there to make decisions, ask questions, and know the full details of the trip as they happen. Products traveling the world don't have the ability to make changes or ask questions, which means that the planning and preparation aspects of logistics are even more crucial to consider for supply chain managers. Logistics executives must make decisions related to packaging, containerization, documentation, insurance, storage, and importing and exporting regulations. Ultimately though, transportation is very important because the transportation mode of choice will likely dictate how a supply chain manager will draw up a complete logistical plan. Still, the world is so big and each item is so different that even for experienced executives, logistics can be intimidating. So daunting is logistics that an industry of cargo travel agents called freight forwarders are available to guide you through all the complex details. No matter what the industry or destination, it's likely you can find a specialist that will carefully plan the delivery of your cargo. Through supply chain management, we learn that every product or service has its own story. Think of the thousands of logistics stories that can be told through your grocery store. Think about every article of clothing you own and what they encountered in getting into your closet. Think about not just the origin of your car, but the origin of every part that went into your car. So now, maybe next time you buy an exotic fruit, a designer handbag, or an imported vehicle, you might take a moment to think about how modern logistics management has changed our lives and how it's made that purchase possible.